just started here this morning. Same spot we uh, got on him yesterday to see if we can't get him to still bite. It took a little while. To find different things. Uh, he choked it. Uh, come to Papa. Not a bad way to start the morning. Same deal as yesterday. I picked up the Carolina rig. George is throwing that big worm. George has already got two bites. But like yesterday when we first got here, they were just real finicky. Uh, I put the Senko on, made like three casts on the rig, and sure enough, pick one up. So see if we can't keep them up. He choked it good, dude. Another one on the rig. Have a Senko on the Carolina rig is the trailer, and it seems to be working. I thought we thought black was the key, but I think anything in that dark pattern. This is a June bug. I think it'll do the trick. So keep them coming. Big fish, guys. Just change locations to another grass edge. Pattern basically. It's probably through two and three quarter, three. Well, good knock. Oh, relax, brother. They're all chunky fish. Having fun, boy. <laughs> Having fun now. Chunks, Florida chunks. Oh, this is good. This is how you don't want to land a fish. Another good one. These are still, they're all two and three quarter ish, three. Push maybe two, three quarters. They're all heavy. Got belly on them. That's a post. That looks like a pre-spawn fish, really. Ah. Right, guys, this is how we caught these fish. We caught them several different ways. Uh, in Florida, you can pretty much fish around the pads, do all that typical vegetation stuff. Um, but the two primary baits that we used to catch them was the first one was a typical Texas rigged big worm. That's like a, that's a 10 or 12 inch worm. Basically Texas rigged, which is just a sliding uh, sliding sinker and a big worm hook. And the, we were using a really light weight. That's 3 16 ounce. You could even probably go in a little bit lighter. And this is 20 pound fluorocarbon line. That, was gr that grass was real sparse. And uh, it was sitting in about 3 to 4 feet of water. And we would sit our boats there and we'd make these casts into the grass. And we would just basically slowly work that worm right on the top of the grass. We we're getting a lot of bites on this big worm. Caught a couple good fish on it. But the primary, primary bait, the way I caught that 10 pounder and the way I caught uh, that 26 pound sack was basically a slightly different variation of uh, trying to do the same thing. We're trying to keep that worm just over the surface of that grass. And what I did for that is I tied up a really light finesse Carolina rig. We do this a lot in California. Just a tiny little barrel swivel, I mean barrel weight, and there's a little rubber stopper right here. Because it's it's such a light weight that you don't need to tie up the whole Carolina swivel mainline uh, leader uh, deal that it comes standard with a Carolina race. So this is just a basically a lightweight rubber stopper up about two feet up the line, and then a, a weightless uh, 
the Senko was doing really well, but also that finesse worm, just a standard black finesse worm. But today I caught a lot on this Senko. The big one came on the Senko. So light Carolina rig and Texas rig worm. Those are the two techniques that we really put the big ones in the box. Try these out whenever you get around grass and the grass is slightly submerged so you can get it up and over that grass and see if you can't uh, match the same day that uh, I had today.